Before they begin any type of off-ice training, players should first take some time to warm up. Warming up increases both the respiratory and heart rate, which in turn helps prepare the body for the physical demands encountered during a game. Arm circles. Here's a great way to begin a warm-up. Start by rotating one arm forward in full circles, then reverse direction. Now, switch arms and repeat the motion. Trunk rotations. With the elbows out to the side and the forearms bent in toward the chest, rotate the upper body from side to side. After a few repetitions, extend the arms while continuing to rotate the trunk. Leg swing, front to back. Using a partner or suitable fixed object for support, the player swings the outside leg forward and backward, warming up the hip, quad, and hamstring muscles. This exercise is good for loosening up the lower body muscles prior to stretching. Leg swing, side to side. Here again, using a partner or fixed object for support, the player swings the outside leg across the front of the body from side to side. This exercise warms up the hip and groin muscles and increases the blood flow to the lower body in preparation for stretching. Shuffle mirror. Partners start in the ready position face to face and shuffle step sideways, mirroring each other's steps. In a more difficult variation, the partners perform the drill with their hands on each other's shoulders. Karaoke mirror. In the karaoke mirror, cross one foot in front of the other foot on the first step, then cross the same foot behind the other in the next step. Again, placing the hands on the shoulders adds more difficulty to the exercise. Standing jump rotations. Here is a great exercise to warm the entire body. From a stationary position, jump in the air and rotate the upper and lower body in opposite directions. High knee. Alternately bringing the knees up high is a great exercise for warming up the glutes, quads, and hamstrings. The speed and the height of the knee raise can be increased as the lower body begins to warm up. Heel kicks. Here's a good warm up for the quads and lower leg. Kick the heels up to touch the upper back part of the leg or glute, increasing speed and frequency as the muscles begin to warm up. High knee, heel kicks, combination. Combining knee raises and heel kicks is a good warm up and aerobic activity, as well as a real test of coordination. Players alternate two knee raises with two heel kicks increasing the speed of the movements to further warm up the lower body and to get the heart rate up. Walking piriformis stretch. This walking stretch helps develop good balance. Lift one leg and grab the ankle with the opposite hand. Pull up on the ankle while pushing down on the knee, loosening the knee, groin, and hip. Release the leg and step forward. Then pick up the other leg and repeat the series on the other side. This exercise should be performed at a pace that allows balance to be maintained. Lunging hamstring glute stretch. To stretch the glutes and hamstrings, 
Start by taking a big step forward. With the toes of the front foot pointed straight ahead and the back foot turned slightly outward, drop the hips straight down while keeping the back straight. Drop the elbow down as far as possible to further increase the stretch. Bend the front leg until a good stretch of the hamstring and glute is achieved. Inchworms. Starting in a push-up position, walk the feet slowly toward the hands, raising the back and buttocks up in the air. It's important to keep the arms and legs straight. With the feet having moved as far forward as possible, walk the hands out until back in the push-up position. Hip abduction walks. Starting from a standing position, take a step forward and raise the opposite leg with the knee out in front and then rotate outward to abduct the hip. On the recovery, bring the leg back toward the midline of the body and step forward to initiate the rotation of the opposite leg. Prance. Use the prance as an exercise to help get the blood pumping in the arms and legs. Basically a modified skipping motion, the prance requires bringing the knees up high and pumping the arms. Players can improve their flexibility with the use of proper stretching techniques. Stretching actually lengthens the muscle tissue, helping to increase a player's range of motion while decreasing a chance of stiffness or injury. As a result, stretching should be a fundamental component of any player's training program. Knee to chest, inside, outside, across shoulder. Bring one knee up toward the chest, grasping it with both hands and pulling it as close to the body as possible. Start the sequence with the knee in line with the inside of the shoulder. Following some repetitions, move the knee toward the outside of the shoulder. Now, after a couple of repetitions, move the knee across the body toward the opposite shoulder. Repeat the stretch two or three times in each position before changing legs. Double knee. The double knee stretch is a good way to loosen the muscles of the lower back. Lying on the back with the head resting on the floor, slowly bend both legs up to the chest, keeping the knees together. Then use the arms to pull the knees in tight to the chest, holding the position to complete the stretch. Next, repeat the motion with the knees apart. Glutes, hip, lower back. Here are two different ways to stretch the glute, hip, and lower back muscles. In the version on the right, sit up straight with both legs extended. Raise one leg and cross it over the other, placing the foot flat on the floor. With the elbow on the outside of the raised knee, slowly twist the upper body. In the version on the left, lie flat on the back with the legs extended. Cross one leg over the other, rotating the lower body. At the same time, abduct the arm by reaching in the opposite direction of the crossing leg. Latissimus Rollback. Starting on all fours with the back flat, arch the upper back and tuck the chin into the chest. Sitting down on the heels with the arms extended, rotate the palms of each hand outward to further enhance the stretch. Thigh hip flexor. There are two versions of the thigh and hip flexor stretch. Both begin with one knee on the floor and the other knee bent forward. In the version on the right, with the hands on each side of the front foot, keep the back straight and the hips and shoulders square. 
lean forward to create a stretch in the thigh and hip flexor. In the version on the left, with the hands on the raised knee, lean forward, stretching the quad and hip flexors. Prone oblique, hip flexor. Start by kneeling on the floor. Bring one knee forward and place the hands on the floor shoulder width apart. Keeping the back straight, slowly twist the upper body toward the forward knee to stretch the oblique and hip flexor. Switch legs and repeat the motion. Laying piriformis stretch. Lying on the back with both legs straight, lift one leg up and rotate the knee outward and the ankle inward. Gently grab the ankle with one hand and pull the foot toward the upper body. Calf stretch. There are two simple yet effective ways to stretch the calf muscles. In the first, place the hands on the wall. With the toes of one foot up the wall, lean forward to stretch the calf. In the second method, again place the hands on the wall and extend the leg behind, keeping the foot flat on the floor while leaning forward into the stretch. Hamstring, lower back. Stretching the hamstring and lower back can be done in one of two ways. In the version on the right, from a sitting position on the floor, extend one leg with the toes upward and bend the other leg inward, placing the foot against the thigh. Lean forward with the arms outstretched, keeping the back straight and the hips and shoulders square. In the version on the left, lie flat on the back and raise one leg up in the air. Place the hands behind the leg and move the knee toward the chest. Keep the thigh vertical and bend the knee downward to release the tension. Then, raise it again to perform another stretch. Thigh quad stretch. Here are two different exercises for stretching the quadriceps. In this example, stand on one leg and lift the other foot behind, grabbing the ankle. Pull the leg up and back, keeping the knee pointed to the floor. Push the hip forward to increase the stretch in the quads. Another way to stretch the quads is to lie on the floor, bringing one ankle back toward the hip. Gently hold the ankle and push the hip forward to increase the stretch. Groin stretch. In the first version of the groin stretch, sit on the floor with the soles of the feet together. Pull the feet in toward the groin as far as possible, ensuring the back is kept straight. Increase the stretch by placing the elbows on the knees, pushing down until a good stretch is felt in the groin. In the second version, extend one leg out to the side with the body over the bent knee and hands out front on the floor, shoulder width apart. Lower the hips slowly to stretch the groin. To further increase the stretch, place the foot flat on the floor and once again, slowly lower the hips. Side lunge. Start with the feet double shoulder width apart and the toes pointing straight forward. Bend the right leg and lower the hips, keeping the back straight. Extend the left leg as far as possible. Straighten the leg to return to the standing position and repeat the stretch on the other side. Try to keep both feet flat on the floor to achieve an optimum stretch. Sloppy push-up. This is a great stretch for the abs. Begin the stretch lying face down on the floor with the hands under the shoulders in a push-up position. Slowly raise the upper body, 
arching the back while keeping the hips and legs on the floor. Return to the original push-up position. Then sit up and extend the upper body backward so that the weight is on the heels. Place the hands on the floor behind the body and drop the head back to stretch the abs and thighs. Chest pectoral stretch. With the elbow bent to 90 degrees and the upper arm parallel to the ground, place the forearm against a wall. Changing the height of the arm on the wall will work the different groups of pectoral muscles. Slowly turn the opposite shoulder backward while keeping the hand firmly in contact with the wall to stretch the muscles in the chest. Rotator cuff. Place one arm behind the back. Reach around in front of the body and grasp the elbow with the other arm, gently pulling the elbow forward until the stretch is felt. Now hold it in position to stretch the rotator cuff. Trunk, shoulder. The trunk and shoulder stretch starts by bringing one arm overhead and bending the elbow to drop the hand down along the spine. Grasp the elbow with the opposite hand and pull gently on the elbow to stretch the triceps and shoulder. At the same time, bend the upper body sideways to stretch the muscles of the trunk. Now bring the arm across the body and pull the elbow toward the chest. Forearm stretch. Start the forearm stretch by doing a few wrist circles in each direction. Stretch the top of the forearm by holding the back of the hand with the fingers pointing downward and gently pull back and in toward the body. Next, bring the arm out in front with the palm facing outward and fingers pointing upward. Grasp the palm and fingers with the opposite hand and pull back on the bottom hand to create a good stretch on the inside of the forearm. Switch and repeat with the other arm. Neck flexion rotation. Start this stretch by slowly rotating the head in both directions. Gently tilt the head forward until a good stretch is achieved down the back of the neck. Next, place the arm behind the body and stretch the side of the neck by bringing the ear down toward the shoulder. Then, tuck the chin toward the chest and hold. Repeat the sequence on the other side. The basics of plyometric exercise are speed, agility, and quickness, which are cornerstones of hockey. Today's player must work on these exercises to adapt to the multi-directional demands of the game. Through proper plyometric conditioning, players can not only improve their athletic performance, their bodies will be more able to withstand the stresses of the game, putting them at a much lower risk of injury. One leg pattern hops. One-legged hops are a terrific way to develop explosive power. Using a marked number sign on the floor, hop around the entire pattern, landing in each open space. Switch legs and reverse the direction. Vary the drill by working in different patterns or jumping to random spaces. Power stride. Keeping the body low and the knees deeply flexed, jump to the side off one leg landing on the opposite foot. Maintain a deep knee flex on the landing, then repeat the motion, jumping back to the original position. This sequence is a great way to develop strength and balance. Power Leap. This time, 
jump to the side off both feet. Again, landing with a deep knee bend. Repeat the motion, jumping back to the starting position. This drill can also be done forward and backward. Two foot hop, four directions. The two foot hop helps develop explosive power in all directions. With the feet together, jump in a square pattern, maintaining balance with each jump. Reverse directions and repeat the pattern. Forward and reverse lunges. Take a step forward and flex the knee to 90 degrees while fully extending the back leg. Then lunge backward with the same leg, extending it as far as it can reach. Sitting hurdle. With the legs out front, lift one leg and bend the knee, turning it while extending the hip and bringing the foot back to touch the floor behind and out to the side. Then return to the starting position and repeat with the opposite leg. Sitting hurdles help develop the muscle groups around the hip joint. Ultimately, this exercise can be performed in one continuous movement without touching the floor. Three, two, one, tuck jump. Using a three, two, one count, slowly flex the knees, move into a tuck position, and load the quadriceps for a powerful jump. Explode upward using a strong arm drive to help achieve maximum height. Flex the knees on the landing and return to a tuck position ready for the next jump. Sidestep jumps, crossover. From a standing position with the knees flexed, perform a sideways jump while simultaneously crossing one leg in front of the other. Finish the landing with the feet parallel on the floor. Squat thrusts. With the feet shoulder width apart, crouch down and place the hands in front of the feet. Thrust the legs out behind to full extension. Then pull back into a crouch position and jump straight up. Squat thrusts are a great exercise for developing cardio, core strength,